Welcome to the Withdrawal Legend Stealth Guide. This is kind of a weird mission because the Thief, Hacker, and Engineer classes are all useful, but you can only have two. The recommended class for this mission is a Technician, though I'll talk more about other classes later. For your loadout, you should bring two breaching charges. The first step is to get a disguise. There is a lot of different disguise methods, and I'll show more later in the video. For this first method, you should bring down the ladder, wait for a guard to stand by this window, and get your suspicion meter to two bars. To avoid getting the trespassing screen, you should either have a bag on or have your gun out, but be careful not to get detected entirely. Unfortunately, there's a chance the guard will go the wrong way and just open a window in a manager's office, so this method is a bit unreliable. Anyway, once the guard is getting close, you should stand here with your gun out. As soon as the suspicion meter reaches two bars, unequip the gun. Once they get lured, knock them out, answer the radio, and take the disguise. The next step is to find a keycard. There's always a keycard in the map, so the location is random. It can be pretty much anywhere except for the lobby area or inside rooms with keycard doors. There are four rooms with keycard doors. One has the camera operator, one has the servers, and the others aren't important. By the way, whenever you see a guard standing in front of a door, it's not a good idea to go inside because you are considered trespassing. Anyway, when you find the camera operator's room, you should take them out. One thing you should do that I didn't do in this run is bag the body and put it in a corner. This makes it so NPCs won't see the body when you open the door. The other room you need to find is the server room, though it doesn't matter if you take out the camera operator before or after. Once you get inside, you need to search the computer. Depending on RNG, there are two things that can happen. The first scenario is that you have to check power boxes until you find the right one. The power boxes are scattered throughout the map, and they can be in any room except the server room and the manager's office. Some locations are kind of out in the open, so you may need to wait for nearby NPCs to leave before interacting with them. Once you find the right one, disabling it will disable the metal detectors in the vault room. Speaking of the vault room, you cannot go inside until you disable the detectors, or else you'll raise the alarm. Anyway, the next step is to take the white disguise from the bandit spawn. Then, go to the lobby area and approach the manager. Instead of waiting for the manager's dialogue, go straight into the vault. Ignore the guards for now, and go to this area. Since you have the engineer class, you can disable the sensors to open this door. This next part is up to you. You can either hostage the guards after or before the manager comes in, but if you do it before, then make sure to hostage the manager before they get alerted. Make the manager follow you and lead them to the keypad, which will make them open the vault. Look at the timer when the vault is open. After about a minute and 20 seconds, an employee will go investigate the vault, so be prepared to take them out. By the way, if you fail here because you forgot to take out the camera operator, then you may want to reconsider your life choices. Anyway, after knocking everyone out, use the breaching charges to open the doors and begin bagging the cash. If you have enough stamina perks and you don't waste any time, you should be able to get three cash bags to the van before having to worry about the employee. While my character is moving the cash, it's time for some entry point memes. Once it's been about a minute and 20 seconds, stop what you're doing and wait for the employee by the entrance. When they go inside the vault room, hostage them immediately and take them out. 
Then, you should finish putting the remaining cash bags into the van. I know this is more of a solo guide, but if you have two players, then you should be able to finish carrying all the bags before the employee arrives, which makes the mission a lot faster. Now that I've covered the main run, it's time to cover some alternate scenarios and methods. After searching the server room, there's a chance you'll have to interrogate an employee to find the right power box. Walk around the map and look at all the employees until one of them gets a marker. You'll need to interrogate them, but you can't just hostage them out in the open. The best way to lure the employee is to hack this computer, so you need the hacker class to do this. Once the employee arrives, you can hostage them, interrogate them, take them out, and hide the body. If you don't have the hacker class, then this step is a bit harder. There are two rooms with network boxes, which will sometimes lure the employee when used, so from my experience, they are very unreliable. A better method is to lockpick this door and wait for the employee's marker to get close. When that happens, fire a suppressed gun to make the employee stop in place. Open the door and use your gun to lure them toward the back. Then, use your gun to lure them toward the bushes, so this will likely take several lures and you have to fire your gun occasionally so they don't go back inside. Once they're in a safe spot, hostage them and make them get down immediately. Then, you can safely interrogate them, knock them out, and hide the body in the bushes. If you aren't an engineer, then the last part of the mission is really annoying. As soon as you take everyone out in the vault room, you should get a guard disguise. Since you can't disable the sensors on the door leading to spawn, you'll have to go all the way around to get there. For this reason, the Infiltrator is not a good class for this mission, unless you have a teammate who's an engineer. It's recommended that you open this window from the inside beforehand, which allows you to get back to the vault faster. Unfortunately, you still have to worry about the employee that checks the vault room. After getting one cash back to the van, you should wait for the employee before leaving the vault room again. If you want to save time, then you can go ahead and bag one or two cash bags without taking them to the van yet. Once the employee is down, finish taking the cash bags to the van. Finally, let's talk about some alternate disguise methods. If you bring a blowtorch, then you can use it to open this window from the outside. Then, you can go inside the manager's office and disable this camera to lure a guard. However, if this door is open because an NPC is nearby, then wait for it to close before disabling the camera. Hide behind the desk and wait for a guard to arrive. Then, you can take them out and get their disguise. If you can't bring a blowtorch, then you can enter the manager's office through the inside. Close the door behind you after entering, open the window, and leave as soon as possible. This will lure a guard into the office, and I recommend waiting for them to leave before entering the room again. In addition to the camera, this room has a second way to get a disguise, which is to hack this computer, so you need to be a hacker. When the employee arrives, you can take them out and get their disguise. Note that using this method guarantees that you won't have to interrogate an employee after searching the servers. Another way to get a disguise is to stand in front of this camera, take out your gun, and let the suspicion meter fill up one bar. Then, loop the camera immediately. When the guard arrives, hide in the bush and shoot your gun to make them stop in place. Hostage them, shout to make them get down, and answer the radio. Then, you can safely take them out and get a disguise. Now, it's time for my favorite disguise method, so you will need to be a thief. So first, you're going to want to loop this camera. Then, lockpick this door and leave it open. Hide in this bush and use your gun to fill the camera's suspicion meter to one bar. When the guard finally arrives, close the door behind them. Knock them out, answer the radio, hide the body, and take the disguise. And that's the end of the guide. If you use Discord, then consider joining the unofficial entry point server, which is linked in the description. It's the best place to get gameplay advice, hang out with the community, or even play Game Pass missions for free. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.